This is Cloth Weaver. It is designed to speed up your workflow when dealing with cloth. No more having to run through a bunch of menus and apply and reapply different settings and parameters. It's such a hassle, right? So let's demo what it does. You have your clothing right here, right? Just the two meshes here. Going to hit put on clothing. And oh my goodness, it's shrinking to the character. So it will apply it to your model. You're gonna hit the pause button when you see fit. And now you notice these uh, seams here, these, these stitches that, you know, these gaps. Well, we're gonna fix it easily. So again, select it. If it's not selected already, hit sew clothing and boom. It sews it, it smooths it, it applies the physics in one button. One, well, two buttons and you're done. So that's what it does. Now let's look at how to install it. Okay, so to install the Cloth Weaver add-on, once you have it downloaded, you're going to navigate to your Blender folder here. If you're on a Mac, you'll right click and then hit show package contents, I believe it is, and that should get you this screen here. You're going to go into your version number, into scripts folder, then into startup. And then you're gonna go ahead and drag the add-on into there and unzip it. Yes, extract. Then you can delete the .zip file. So now that this Blender file and the cloth weave Python file are in the scripts or in the startup folder, they should show up as soon as we start Blender. And here's a new panel on the side called Cloth Weaver. So that's how you install it. So let's go over the full features of the add-on. So let's generate a base plane. This will be a template for our clothing. Go ahead and get rid of these since we're not doing an asymmetrical design. Go ahead and go mirror, choose clipping. Okay, now let's make a shirt. Just doing a very low topology, nothing major here. Go ahead and delete the faces, only the faces. And then add for the shoulder. Subdivide this. Sleeve is going to go here. Subdivide that. Go out there. Yeah. Get a bit wider. We can always adjust this later. Again, topology doesn't have to be perfect with this. It wasn't on the dress. Okay, now we're just gonna kind of subdivide the crap out of it. But not too many, or else it'll complain. Three cuts should be enough. No more, otherwise it'll be very slow. And we can't have that, can we? No, we're pressed for time. Uh, go ahead and raise our shoulders up a bit. Yeah, this is what I need my uh, proportional editing turned on. Eh, all right, we'll try that for now, all right? Now let's hit N on our keyboard, and we want to show the normals. So they all need to be facing that way for now. We're going to Shift-D, duplicate this, move it on this axis, and then we're gonna flip our normals. So we're gonna search that, flip normals. Okay, now they're facing that way. Here comes the tricky part, sorta, of, not really. We want to, everything that's going to be stitched together needs to be connected. Um, so for example, any openings like the sleeves were not Okay, so again, keep the openings for the head and the arms open. Now we're gonna switch to face mode and delete these faces. Only the faces, so now we're left with the edges. Okay, go into your vertex groups, add three of them. Call the last one P. 
pins. It must be named pins, or else the add-on will not work. We're going to change this name to odd, and then change the other group to even. So straightforward, select every other edge that is going to be sticking together. You will thank yourself in the long run for doing this, because it is a pain. Hit Assign, and now select the others. Okay. Whoops, I, uh, mess, I'm, uh, messing up here. Didn't want those. Yikes, sorry. Okay, see, that's why you always gotta double check. Even me, even I can mess up. Gosh darn it, I know, I'm not perfect. Okay, so once we have all our edges selected, then we're going to apply, or assign that, sorry. Okay, make sure they're looking good. Okay. And now you want to, this is important too, make note of this. You want to select the top vertex group. You want to keep your pin at the bottom. You can shuffle it around like this. You want to keep pins at the bottom, and then have the top one selected. Now, for pins, we're just going to pin the two top. So assign that. Assign pins to whatever you want, you know, pinned. Um, and then select your top before you're done. All right, so out of edit mode we go. Now, once we have this guy selected, you're gonna select your base mesh, make sure the collision is turned on. That is important too. So select your base mesh, or your, your clothing, sorry. Put on the clothing. And watch the magic happen. Now we're going to have to do some tweaking here, I tell you. Because that's not very attractive. You can hit this button here. Okay, so clearly we need, well, we kind of need to make this lift up, period. And we do need to move it closer. Select that whole side. Move him closer. Dang it, come on, select all that, gosh. Okay, is it moved up too high now? It probably is. Move it down a bit. All right, now watch the magic happen. We're still gonna have to fix it. Yes, we are. We're going to have to fix this. You know what? Something else. Yeah, we're going to have to do this. Okay. Scale on the Z. This is a learning moment. This is a learning moment. I am not messing up. This is a moment for both of us to learn. That's my excuse for us both. Okay, what did I just... Okay, so once we have that selected, we're going to scale on the Z zero to make it flat. Uh-huh. This is going to be a longer tutorial than I thought. I apologize, but hey, we're learning something, right? So now that we have that... This is when topology might come in... Well, it should come in handy, but again, we're not... I'm not too worried right now. I'm gonna kind of lift that up. It shouldn't have made a difference, but whatever. Now we can just hit the play button since all the parameters have technically been applied already. Okay, we are going to definitely need some more edge loops. Now, I know what you're thinking. Gosh dang it, Alex. Now I have to redo my vertices and gosh dang it you would be right <sighs> mm hmm again this is a learning moment mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm 
Mm-hmm. Assign. Odd is done. Now we're going to have to fill these gaps. OK. Select our even. Select, select the evens and remove. Now, just remove the bottom half. OK, assign again. Now, I think we're good to go. Hit put on clothing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it'll work. Don't worry about uh, the, uh, the mishaps. So now when we hit sew clothing, because we added all these groups, remember, select the top group. Sew the clothing. OK, there we go. Looking good. Yeah. Again, with topology, you can fix these changes. But this is just, this is just a demo. Remember, a demo. This is a demo. OK. Now, now you might be thinking, you're, you're going to make all these changes, right? Like say, oh, the, the armpits are, are horrendous. Let me, let me do something here to, and then of course, you can always hit the back button, or hit the rewind button and play the simulation again, and it'll, it'll kind of do that. And that's when that comes in handy. Now, say you make too many changes, and you're like, oh, gee golly whiz, Alex, I can't undo enough. You run out of your undo memory, but ho oh, ho, fear not, fellow artist, I have foreseen this problem. Hit restore previous, and wow, look at that. There it is. Now, for some reason, we have all these little duplicates. Just uh, delete those. So now we have some presets over here. Address and shorts. Let's add the shorts. Now, of course, these are going to be aligned to my model and to my scene. So you'll have to drag them up and down and scale them as, as need be. So we're going to select our shorts here. Let's go ahead and apply the cloth. Apply all those. Otherwise, they're going to be playing, and it's going to be hogging us down. So let's select our shorts, hit put on clothing. It's going to attach. And we're going to pause it when we see fit. When it kind of stops, when it settles, go ahead and select it again. And hit sew clothing. Smooths it out. Now again, Sometimes you're going to have these little issues. That's unfortunate. Just uh, go to the beginning of the scene, and then you can you know, tweak it from there. And again, you can hit the Restore button, and hey, we're back to our previous version, because it backs it up as soon as you hit Put on Clothing. So there's nothing to worry about there. If you have any questions, you can ask them on my Blender Market page. I would greatly appreciate any suggestions to improve this add-on in the future. Thanks again, and I hope you enjoy using Cloth Weaver.